we're still a country in crisis. The pandemic has affected more than 3 million Americans. It has cost more than 135,000 lives in climbing, and it shows no signs of slowing down. It's gotten bad enough that even Donald Trump finally decided to wear a mask in public. I'm glad he made the shift. But Mr. President, it's not enough. We won't be able to turn the corner and get American people back to work safely without presidential leadership. Mr. President, open everything now isn't a strategy for success. It's barely a slogan. Do your job, Mr. President, because if we can't deal with the public health crisis, we can't deal with the economic crisis. Seems like every few weeks, when he needs a distraction from the latest charges of corruption in his staff or the conviction of high-ranking members of administration and political apparatus, the White House announces, quote, it's Infrastructure Week. How many times have you heard him say that? But he's never delivered. He's never really even tried. Well, I know how to get it done. And there's no more consequential challenge that we must meet in the next decade than the onrushing climate crisis. Left unchecked, it is literally an existential threat to the health of our planet and to our very survival. That's enough for dispute, Mr. President. When Donald Trump thinks about climate change, the only word he can muster is hoax. When I think about climate change, the word I think of is jobs.